It's Tuesday, May 14th, 2024. This is Melissa Hart with What's on the Agenda, the headlines of Dairy Agenda Today. You can listen to this on Spotify or on Apple Podcast or on our Dairy Agenda Today YouTube channel. There's finally a new update. We haven't had one for quite a while from the H5N1 mess that's going on. USDA recently announced new actions to reduce the impact and spread of H5N1. These steps are focused on providing support and resources for impacted operations and on helping encourage enhanced biosecurity measures. Currently, there are 42 confirmed cases across nine states, although we haven't heard any case reports in about a week and a half. So, but USDA is on it and they are going to help you out. Check it out in the news feed on the home page. Building better beef crosses starts on day one. The Dairy Calf and Heifer Association is going to have a webinar on May 22nd all about building a better beef cross and you can be a part of that. Check it out in the news feed on the home page. The link is there on how to register for this webinar that takes place on May 22nd. The Brown Swiss Cattle Breeders Association database is still down. And in case you're wondering, what are we going to do about registrations that have to be received before May 15th? Well, they've got the answer. You can find that in the news feed on the home page. The DAT People's Choice Question of the Week. It's all about the next technology. We have several comments so far. We'd love to hear what you have to say about what's the next technology that's going to come around. Somebody thinks it's going to be on the sustainability side of things. Another person said it won't be like it was, it won't be like it is, and it won't be like we think it's going to be. Very true. And another one thinks that it's going to be all about vertical integration, which... We've seen that happen in the livestock industry. Not sure that's such a great thing. Anyway, the DAT People's Choice Question of the Week. We would love to hear what you have to think about what's the next technology that will revolutionize the dairy industry. Now, let's check out some market news. In Class 3 trade, the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, according to Bar Chart, May Class 3 milk was up 8 cents at 1871. June was up the limit, 75 cents at 2126. July was up 31 cents at 2024. August was up 20 cents at 1974. And September was up 11 cents at 1962. Cash cheese blocks were unchanged at 198. Barrels were up 6 cents at 197 and a quarter. Butter was up 3 and 3 quarters at 302 and 3 quarters in grade A non-fat dry milk was up one and a half cents at 116.75. Cash corn was up two cents at 481. Cash soybeans were up one cent at 11.87 and cash soybean meal was up one dollar and five cents at 384.40. The next sale up on the featured sales list is the Missouri Heifer Tag Sale. It happens on May 22nd through the 24th at the Lawrence County Fairgrounds in conjunction with their cow camp. The catalog is online and there is no online bidding. So if you want to be a part of this sale, you're going to have to get your bid in with a member of the sales staff. Check it all out when you click on their link in the featured sales list or on their banner ad. The Butler View Farm Memorial Day Extravaganza Sale is going to happen on May 24th at the farm in Illinois. That's a Friday. The catalog is online and Cowbuyer will be providing online bidding, although that will be a fun sale. So you'll want to be in person for that one. That happens on May 24th. Find all the details when you click on their link in the featured sales list or on their banner ad. Then at the end of the month, it's the Tremilda Milking Herd Dispersal in Montezuma, Georgia. That catalog is coming soon. Cow Buyer will be providing online bidding. Then on June 7th, it's the Hill Rose Holstein's Dispersal. That catalog is coming soon. And the catalog that we now have online... For the June 8th sale in Turner, Maine, it's the Built to Last at Breguin sale. I've looked through that catalog. That's going to be a good sale. And if you can get to Turner, Maine, that would be even better because it's beautiful up there. Maine in June, what could be better? Better than Maine in January? Probably. Anyway, you can find all the details when you click on their link in the featured sales list on the right side of the homepage or by clicking on their banner ads. Rocking at Retso 2, that sale will happen on June 15th. Another fantastic sale that will be happening. That catalog is coming soon. Cow Buyer will be providing online bidding for that sale. In the meantime, if you have a sale that you would like to have thousands of eyes on it, contact one of our sales reps. We can help you out with that. We have several sale manager packages at different price points and options that will spread your exposure right here where the dairy industry meets on Dairy Agenda Today. Now in the Just for Fun department, today is International Chihuahua Appreciation Day, Online Romance Day, National Dance Like a Chicken Day, 
Let's check out what happened this day in history. Oh, Lewis and Clark had departed to explore the Northwest in 1804. Two trains crashed in Japan, killing more than 40 people in 1991. In 1787, the Constitutional Convention delegates began to assemble. Frank Sinatra died in 1998 on this day. In 1607, the Jamestown settlers arrived. And in 1948, the State of Israel was proclaimed. But we've yet to do our food. Today is National Buttermilk Biscuit Day. That sounds like a great thing to have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That's what's happening on this Tuesday, May 14th, 2024. This is Melissa Hart with What's on the Agenda, the headlines of Dairy Agenda Today. You can listen to this on Spotify or on Apple Podcasts or on our Dairy Agenda Today YouTube channel. I hope you have a great day. We'll see you next time.